issues in ACT. Yes, it finally happened. Yeah, yeah. Wow. at the ACT, where all the politicians' kids are, of course. <laughs> we knew that was coming. Now, here's the kicker. State law says you can you know, have a certain amount of grams and you know, spark up at home in a private premises, but federal law, it's still illegal. So they're going to milk the system and you know, take as much as they can. And you know, what's good about this is that you know, they say laughter is the best medicine, but I believe cannabis is the best medicine, <laughs> which in fact also leads to laughter anyway. <laughs> um, now, in the olden days, you know, getting high, you know, not a bad thing, um, but that was the bush, the outdoor grown in the soil with the sun, natural. And uh, now this GMO, genetically modified organisms, uh, you get stoned, you know, you lay on the couch, you don't do much. And a bloke just got done in the AFL for cannabis, and uh, what I thought was, hang on, I thought we were supposed to be, you know, lazy and not get off the couch. So I've got this guy a week before the grand final. Like, I enjoy it, and you can make oil out, you can make biscuits, and that's dangerous because they say cannabis is a gateway drug, but it's not. Well, okay. It is. It, it's a gateway to the fridge, but <laughs> edibles are dangerous because it's hard to dose and put a certain amount in. You don't know how strong they are. So what sucks is you'll eat a cannabis cookie. You can make butter and make a cannabis cookie, and then you get the munchies, right? And <laughs> half an hour later, oh, cookies. <laughs> I'll have one of those. So you have another cannabis cookie, and it keeps going, going, going. It's not, it's not good at all. Um, but, uh, you can't overdose from it. Um, you know, it's actually patent. Someone's put a patent on cannabis. How can you patent a plant? You know, and you know, I'm not a drug dealer. I'm a florist. I'm a florist. Right? I'm a horticulturalist. <laughs> I like purple more than anyone in this room, so I'm going to put a patent on the jacaranda tree, all right? You cannot use purple anymore because I own the patent. It's disgusting. And um, you know, the government have done a few good things, like the, the plastic ban. We know there's a lot of waste in the, in the oceans and the rivers. Um, but you know, Coles and Woolworths, they got rid of the plastic bags. And what do Coles do? They bring out plastic minis. Great, perfect. And uh, I was on my way here the other day from Brisbane to the Gold Coast and uh, I stopped in at Logan City. Anyone know Logan? Yeah. Logan Bogans, right? Yeah. I couldn't believe my eyes. This is the Logan City minis. <laughs> now I put this on Facebook and Gumtree. I got like 600 offers for it. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Coincidentally, I do have uh, a lot of stuff on Gumtree in the uh, Facebook uh, marketplace. And uh, I do have with me tonight something that's, uh, you know, one of a kind, rare now. It's a, you know, a collector's item, uh, antique, if you will. So, you know, if anyone wants to buy this before I put it on Gumtree, I just thought I'd give you the offer, all right? Let me just... There it is. So I hope you can offer after, we'll give some you know, proceeds to charity, there you go. Only use once. So, there we go. Um, you know, and what sucks about the government is that they, you know, they like to tax things. And that's why cannabis has taken so long, because hemp, basically was uh, made illegal and you can't get high from hemp totally same plant same leaf but no thc in it right so the medicine now coming out in the oil is cbd i'm talking alzheimer's dementia thick blood thin blood cancer serious problems can be cured but hemp was basically banned because it could make plastic, it could make fuel, it could make concrete. You can do things with it that not many other plants can do. You know? And a lot of people want to be the rose in life. Nice smelling, you know, looks pretty, lots of thorns of course. But you, a, bit, a bit of pH off 
that rose dies, yeah? Now, I'd rather be a dandelion, you know? Bit of concrete, hell yeah, I can break through that concrete, they come straight through, right? And the government love to ban things and, you know, they talk about lobbying the government. Lobbying, as in bribing, you know. Uh, that's all lobbying is, you know. Bit of a under the table handshake. Yes. <laughs> so that's what I give your kids. And I say to a lot of people, look, the power in the people is stronger than the people in power. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. race recently overseas, they've banned the vape. And the e-cigarette with the oil, blah, blah, blah. And I wouldn't use that unless I could get cannabis oil, of course. Um, and uh, does everyone remember a Scooby-Doo? Uh -huh. Yeah. Right? And they unmasked the, the guy at the end. Oh, just as I suspected, right? Well, here's a little picture I put up on Facebook the other day. There's the vape band, the vape band at the top. And uh, just as suspected, who's behind it? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Old man Marlboro. Right? This is why cannabis has not been legalised with no THC, you know, and you're not allowed to grow it. So it's very hard to get through to people about how the media tricks us. Um, and we talk about, you know, how people are being manipulated by the tell lie vision, I call it, the lame, uh, mainstream media. Uh, 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 I look back and, and, you know, I don't know if it's from the cannabis, but, you know, I, I kind of woke up after starting doing comedy and it's very hard to go back to sleep. Like, I love documentaries like The Matrix, you know, <laughs> Terminator, yeah. And um, this amazing movie called They Live. Has anyone seen They yeah. Live, the guy with the sunglasses? You might have seen it as a meme on, on Facebook where they have the guy looking without sunglasses and they show you something and then he puts his sunglasses on and then he can see. It was this amazing movie where he could, he was trying to get his friend to wake up and he kept trying to give him these sunglasses to see, uh, obey and consume and procreate, you know, all these things, spend your money. And um, this is what sucks is that now that we have YouTube and evidence and that sort of thing, people start to call me conspiracy theorist, right? <laughs> now, conspiracy means two or more people getting together to do something illegal or unlawful against a bigger group of people. Now, conspiracy could be 9-11, flu ride in the water, uh, Wi-Fi hurts you, like I know when I turn my Wi-Fi off at night, this is about vibrations. It's not a good vibration for the body to, it changes our vibration. You'll have gut problems, you know, sleeping problems, behavioural problems, turn your Wi-Fi off at night, right? But a theory is a group of thoughts, just no evidence, no, nothing really going on. And that leads me to this amazing Nickelback song. Any Nickelback fans here? Yeah. <laughs> Stars. Stars. 
you see any stars out no, there? Okay, no, cool. no stars. Now, second point is there is a crosshairs on the photo. Why? Now, why, why, crosshairs. Why would they see the stars? Why would they see the stars? Because, well, let's, the stars let's look at the sky. shadows. That's another point. The shadows are over here, <coughs> right, looking here. So the, the sun's back this way somewhere, and we're looking away from the Earth. We're out in space, and there's no stars. Okay? Now, there's also crosshairs on the photos. Now, crosshairs is on the camera and on the film, but in some of the photos, they're behind the things that are on the screen. Now, if the moon is only one-fourth of the size of the Earth, why is the horizon just here? Now, in this lovely tin foil curtain rod, <laughs> moon lander, um, yeah, it's come down with a rocket, right? There's no dust. You can look at close-up photos and there's no dust. And actually, the first man on the moon was Neil Armstrong's cameraman because as he's getting down the moon lander, there's a guy taking photos of him. Um, they went through the radiation belt. Now, if you know anything about microwaves, if you put a live chicken in a microwave on high for an hour, <laughs> it's not going to make it through, right? It's, it's not going to make it through that radiation belt. Um, and, you know, a lot of people um, go, oh, yes, but, you know, da 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 and da 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 And there's lots of photos. There's so much evidence now. You can zoom in and stop videos. And there's different shadows where they've obviously used different lighting and Neil Armstrong's here and there's a rock here and the shadow's going this way. Now, there's a song, uh, you know, Space is the Final Frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> now, look, a lot of people, and they were going during the uh, Vietnam War that they weren't happy about. The government had to get people to like them again. Um, there's a lot there, and the cream of the crop, cream on the, the cherry on the ice cream, <laughs> so they, so, <laughs> you've got to look at the press conference afterwards where they are seen me like this. <laughs> Guys win a basketball game and they're all, yeah, sweet. And these guys land on the moon and they couldn't give a shit. They couldn't care less, right? But get on YouTube, lovely video of Buzz Aldrin finally cracking and admitting. Put Buzz Aldrin admits we didn't land on the moon and you'll see it. And be very careful when they, these days. When I tell people to do their own research, Google has been censored and changed. Look at, they've taken likes off Facebook today, right? So you don't know how many likes you've got. Just to not influence people, I'm going to like this because six million people have. So they're really starting to censor things. There's a DuckDuckGo search engine or huge, uh, sorry, Yahoo. Great. If you put in, did we land on the moon? You're going to get no, 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 no. If you put, we didn't land on the moon proof, you'll get a different result, right? And now India, the Indians, not the, boom, I mean the, they <laughs> just landed on the moon. And there's a photo of their moon landing. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's real. You can tell that one's real. Um, <laughs> So, look, you know, don't be, you know, when people say you're a conspiracy theorist, just enjoy it. Uh, take it as a compliment. Um, you know, the flu ride isn't working. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and there's a lot against us now. The water the frequency has been changed. There's, there's GMO crops where they're not giving off seeds anymore. So farmers, apart from the, you know, the drought, I won't get into how that's actually really happening. Um, I probably will. Um, but the crops aren't giving off seeds anymore, so they have to go back to Monsanto, you know? They have to go back to these companies to buy more seeds every season, over and over and over. The GMO corn is giving pigs cancer and making them infertile within two or three generations, right? And when I was in America doing stand-up, I went to a, you know, Americans love their food, well, yeah. 
food, uh, food like substances I call it, they have this chicken in a can, it's been cooked and it's like, it's like dog food, it's disgusting, I wouldn't feed it to my dog basically. Now, now I went to a restaurant and said oh, I'll have the um, genetically modified steak with extra hormones, uh, I'll have uh, a side of MSG and uh, does that come with free cancer, is that cancer extra? And, <laughs> so, you know, a lot of these foods, and, and they love their themed restaurants over in America. They have like a 60s, 70s themed restaurant where everyone's dressed as Laverne and Shirley and they have, you know, Happy Days theme and that. And I went to a, a bloody uh, Star Wars one. Oh, this is incredible. And uh, does anyone know Star Wars and the characters and, you know, basically? And, um, you know, I walked in and it was like, duh, 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 duh. And I went to the bar, it was that da, 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 the canteen song. Anyway, I ordered the Wookiee. Right? <laughs> it was a little chewy. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and the meal came to my table, it was like dun 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 And uh, the, the chef was dressed as Chewbacca and uh, I thought oh, I'd better not complain to him, you know. Uh, <laughs> that certainly explains all the hairs in my food. Uh, uh, and, uh, yeah, like, there should be warnings about certain foods. And, uh, you know, I think this is one that should be done. Right? Uh, and, uh, yeah, plain packaging for cigarettes, McDonald's should have to do the same thing, you know? And uh, Big Macs make big children. It's a fact, you know? And look, if you're overweight or know someone that's overweight, be happy, you know, just walk around and go, oh, I'm overweight, I'm happy, I, I, I don't care, you know. Um, but the big thing, I think, is that don't go to, like, Jenny Craig and things like that, because they, they'll give you a little bag of chips. And I'll say, when you open the bag, only eat three. <laughs> if people could do that, they wouldn't have to go to Jenny Craig in the first place. <laughs> uh, the before and after photos, the guy like this, and then in ten weeks later, with the pockets turned out, the guy's like, like that. It's like, in ten weeks, Robbo lost $1,600. You know? <laughs> totally, totally pointless. And, you know, I was at, uh, basically working at uh, Bunnings, and you know, it wasn't going too well. I knew it wasn't going too well when the automated checkout got employee of the month. Yeah, I was like, okay, I think, I think my job here is pretty much done. And this lovely woman walked in, rude as all hell, two little skids, I call them, and rude, obnoxious, you know, yelling at them, swearing. And I thought, oh, what a delightful people. Yeah, a bunch of people, and the line was lining up, and she was swearing at them and taking her time. And I said, oh, excuse me, madam, uh, you know, what lovely children you have. And she went, oh, fuck, they're terrible. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, oh, great. And I said, oh, are they twins? And she said, no, you dickhead, why would you think they're twins? This one's seven, this one's ten. Why would you think they're twins? And I said, well, I just didn't think anyone would screw you twice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, but look, I'll, I'll, I'll start finishing up. The, uh, <laughs> the, the big thing is, you know, technology is, you know, they've got these new breathalysers, you used to have to walk the line and that sort of thing. And look, anyone drinking tonight? Yeah, had a few drinks. Yeah, anyone driving? Yes. Yeah. All right, so be very careful. But you should do what I do and take a bus home, okay? Just take a bus home. Because the other night, I did that mixing your drinks. We start with the wine and have a few beers and then a couple of cocktails and then some scotch. And then end of the night, tequila. Every time, right? So sure enough, on the way home, there's a booze bus. And I'm like, Phew. Like I took a bus home, I would have got done, and because I was in the bus, they waved me through, and I got home, and it was really great surprise to me and relief, because uh, I'd never driven a bus before. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I wake, wake up in the morning, there's a bus in my front yard. <laughs> hey, gum tree. 
technology, you know, in the old days, it was simple. We had the, the phones like this, and you know, to, to court someone, you'd send them some flowers, or you'd send them a box of chocolates, or send them a poem, right? Now, they send a dick pic, as they call it. <laughs> now, this is going to be the lovest form of courting I've ever heard. It's disgusting, totally pointless. And, uh, you know, I've got to say, I, you know, I got a bit caught up in it. And this girl was a musician, and I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to send her a dick pic. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to. And, uh, you know. All the fellas might want to close their eyes right now, but uh, yeah. I, I brought a, a photo for the ladies of my dick pic. Oh. <laughs> 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 she plays guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd uh, yeah, like to thank the Gold Coast Business Laughing Club for having me. Uh, yeah. You ladies have done it very well. It's nice to come out for charity and. Uh, and uh, do something good for society. And um, yeah, I also like to thank you know, my arms uh, for being by my side all these years. <laughs> and, uh, you know, also like to thank my fingers. You know, I could, could always count on them. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my legs uh, for supporting me all these years. Aww. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, Enjoy yourselves. Uh, have a great night.